Hello, hello, so Signatch fan here, and I have been playing a lot of Texas Chainsaw lately. This game is really, really good, really fun, really addicting, and it's kind of hard to put down. So I wanted to show some of my gameplay and also show uh, this Connie bill that I have been running uh, with the efficient locksmith and tool tracks, which allows me at the beginning with tool tracks to track every a uh, lock pick down in every single box around the map they will glow yellow and i'll just be able to uh, go right to them get two lock picks immediately and try to look for a door to escape and efficient locksmith is super good just simply because once i use a lock pick there's a 40 percent chance once you max it out there's a 40 percent chance that the lock pick will not break which is really good because then you don't have to backtrack to uh, any boxes and keep going for more lock picks. So right now I got two lock picks and trying to avoid Leatherface. You definitely want to avoid Leatherface with it, uh, Connie, because she is a glass cannon. She cannot take damage at all. She is not a tank. So like the tanks, Anna and uh, Leland, she is nowhere near that type of um, character at all. If you if you take hits, you'll probably die. So I used her focus ability to snap that lock immediately. I've been uh, experimenting with both saving focus for later gates and doors to open, or using it early and seeing how it pays off. Uh, in this situation, I did get lucky. I'm not gonna lie because I was completely out of stamina. And if I would have went up there and there would have been a killer, I probably would have died. So we got lucky. We saw Cook and we just dipped. So no, no point to uh, interact with Cook. Cook did not put a lock on this back door, which is super surprising because even when I run Cook, I definitely put a lock on that on that door because you never want to have a victim just be able to run out of this door hide in some grass because right now this hiding spot that i even picked was like terrible but nobody's out here so we're gonna snap this gate off now as you see i got one lock pick only one and this is this is gonna be very important so i want you to pay attention to this one so i lose this lock pick i need another one because we're running towards the car battery and the back gate. I'm gonna need a lock pick to get out of that back gate. So this is very important to watch and this is why I believe this build is super, super strong with Connie. I haven't really seen uh, many people run this build. So I wanted to try it out, see if it works. It works for me very well. So I'll probably make a uh, build guide for Connie. All right, so now nobody's back here. So I'm pretty good. So go to this car battery, get this car battery off. And of course, I have her stealth and proficiency uh like super, super high. And I think that's like the optimal way to uh go for a bill for her. So at this point, I don't care if I'm detected. I'm so far away from everybody that I'm gonna just pick this gate. Now look, I only have one lock pick. Now, for some reason, I was rushing. I don't know why, but my lock pick snapped. And look at this. It snapped, it broke, and I still have a lock pick because of this perk. This perk is too good. It literally saved my life. Let's go. Connie's OP. Nerf Connie. 